Well, India's Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatra addressed the media on the G20 Foreign Minister's meeting to be held at Rashtrapati Bhavan, noting this would be the second ministerial meeting to be held under India's presidency. We first up put out that message coming in because all eyes on this Foreign Minister's meet around G20. Listen in first up. The G20 Foreign Minister's meeting under India's ongoing G20 presidency will be held uh, tomorrow on 2nd March. Um, but it would start with a gala dinner tonight. It would be under the chairmanship of our external affairs minister, Dr. S. Jay Shankar. This would be the second ministerial meeting being held under our presidency uh, so far. Uh, as you all know, the first ministerial meeting has just concluded in Bangalore, which, is of the, which was of the finance ministers and central bank governors meeting. The venue of G20 foreign ministers meeting is going to be the Rashtrapati Bhavan Cultural Center. Overall, 40 delegations are expected to participate in this meeting. Besides the participation of uh, these countries, which I said comprising of over 40 delegations, uh, this would also include 13 international organizations will be participating in the meeting. Uh, surely it is one of the largest uh, gathering of the foreign ministers hosted by any G20 presidency that we would be privileged to host uh, tomorrow. The theme of India's G20 presidency, as has been re enunciated repeatedly, is Vasudeva Kutambakam roughly translating into one earth, one family, one future. For India, the G20 presidency also marks the beginning of Amrit Kal, which will lead to the centenary of our independence towards a futuristic, prosperous, inclusive and developed society with human-centric approach at its very core. This is also the spirit which uh, propelled us to organize the Voice of the Global South Summit in January earlier this year, which, as you are aware, uh, saw participation of over 125 countries. During the Foreign Minister's meeting tomorrow, the External Affairs Ministers will be chairing um, two uh, sessions of the Foreign Minister's meeting. Uh, the first session will focus on two, uh, three principal sub-items. First of them, relating to multilateralism. Second, uh, something which is very crucial for the developing world, the issues related to food and energy security. And the third, the larger question of templates of development cooperation. Uh, the second session, which will focus on four or five other key issues, again relevant not just for the developing world, but also for the global community as a whole. One of them would focus on new and emerging threats. This would include naturally the challenges of countering terrorism, counter narcotics, on the more uh, uh, development-oriented considerations, that second session would also focus on global skill mapping, how the G20 can pull together its efforts to do global skill mapping, focus on global talent pool, and also the questions relating to humanitarian assistance and disaster risk reduction. So if you look at the agenda of the foreign minister's meeting for tomorrow, it would be broadly structured along two sub-verticals. One, as I said, relating to multilateralism, food, energy, security, and development cooperation. And the second one relating to new emerging threats, counterterrorism, global skill mapping, and HADR issues.